Alrighty. Yeah, YouTube, this is uh, part two. We're going to start to do uh, a few more details and get stuck into the front and rear of the car. Um, Alright, so we'll start with the front. And as you can see, it's just pretty much, you know, chopped straight up and down there. And we've got this bumper that curves around. So I sort of want to make a uh, um, continue this on and, and curve it around. So what I do, I'll just come in here and I'll. Uh, press the L tool and I'll go down to about there so I've got that sort of shape there and I'll press L again and what I'm going to do is I want instead of having it just come straight out like that I want to follow the contour of that line so when you press L you can sort of uh, you find a, a line that is the same um, direction you run it up and down it like this and then you'll see like a pink line appear and that will follow that same uh, parallel uh, yeah, there we go parallel to edge outside area so you click like that and you can see that it, it comes down in the same direction now I'm going to go across and I'm just going to make like a, a nice round corner here um, and I keep going until it goes pink because that's um, nice and uniform so what I'll do in there, I'll make this a group. So I'll select those edges and then go right click make group, edit the group. Now the reason I do that is just so that it, you know, when you triple click it doesn't select everything else and it's just much easier to muck around with stuff in just in one group like I was saying before. So I'll select all those um, lines and I'll press F for follow me and we've got this uh, hideous shape that we've just made but we'll just uh, start mucking around with that so triple click right click soften edges to get rid of all that stuff right click reverse faces so we're back to white and then what I'll do is I'll just click on the group and I'm going to just scale it in um, to roughly about there because uh, that's sort of where I want it to be just sort of in, in front of the bumper a tiny bit um, and I'm just going to press M for move and move it out slightly um, from there so I'll probably do it to about say there and what we're going to do now is just sort of um, we're going to clean up a little bit of this uh, model so we'll just um, get this to join to this main body so what I'll do is first of all just erase this stuff and we'll click on that, click on that, erase just getting rid of some of the stuff I don't want. So I'll get rid of that. Okay. Now what we'll do while we're here, we might just uh, to sort of make it um, to chop that bottom section off. We're going to do a square um, like this and something like that. Oh, did that not? Didn't like that. Well, let's just try again. What we'll do? I'm just going to make a uh, rectangle. Make that a group. Press M for move and move it up to that spot there. S for scale and move it out. All I'm doing is I just want to chop that section off that bottom part. So once that's in the position I want. I'm going to cut it, so Control X, go into the group and go edit paste in place and there we go, so that'll be there, right click, intersect faces with the model and then I can get rid of that group, erase it, double click, single click, double click so that I've just highlighted all those areas, right click erase and that makes it nice and flat there, so that's cool. So now to sort of join this bit here, um, we could go M, let's just see if this works, we're just going to do some improvisation on the fly, so I'm just going to move it slightly and see if it's going to get me a better angle. Uh, let's just do this for a minute, move it out slightly and about there. Click that again, oh sometimes it gets a little bit hard to move it just that slight angle but uh, something like that we might move it up just a tad see if that looks alright so that's looking pretty close so I'm just going to go ahead and um, explode that and I'm going to press uh, Alt V H to re reveal the hidden lines 
So here, what I'll do is I'm going to erase that um, section there, and I'm going to press M and just uh, press the Alt key and join these up. So what I'm doing is uh, I, I'll wait for that little green um, uh, circle to appear there, hold, hold the Alt key, click it, and then move it to that new spot. And I find holding the Alt key sort of locks it into place a little bit easier than if you don't hold the Alt key. I don't know why, but again, this is probably not, you know, it's just things i found to be handy and work with me, but, um, you know, might be different. So what, I, what I've done there, as I'm trying to move it in, you can see it's red. That's bad. You want it to be green because red means it's just going to be on a new point. So, and again, this is like quite tricky. You have to sort of keep mucking around with it until you get to that um, that exact point you want it to get to. Um, there we go, green again. So sometimes, yeah, you just got to really be quite vigilant with how you join those dots. Um, and you'll see when you do join it, it goes to a nice, like, thin line. So, yeah, there's lots of little hidden sort of things that help you. As long as you know um, what you're looking for, they'll help you out. Um, so, when we zoom back out and take that hidden off again, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, I might, um, we might even try and bring this in a tiny bit more because it, yeah might be sticking out a bit too much, but um, something like that. I mean, we can make little features to make this lower and clean this up and stuff, but anyway, get the general idea of how we're going to, to uh, close up this straight section. So let's get that, move that to here, and that close up. So obviously now we've got some sort of issue here. Um, where it doesn't want to uh, join up. So we'll just, oh, hang on. Well, let's have a look here. All right, so. We can try this uh, technique if this is better. And then press E for erase and hold the control key to sort of get rid of all those. Um, we can even just get rid of that one as well. So now if you look at the, uh, the hidden view, um, yeah, we can see it looks like that. Not not the best way to do it, but at least it's um you know it's not really that visible. Um, so I'll just continue to close this gap here. So what I'm going to do is just select all M and then press M for uh, move and just move that uh, like that. And we've closed up the front section. So we'll start to do like little cutouts and stuff now to to decorate the front, throw some lights in and, and do that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's just continue on. So we've got this front section here and what I'm gonna do is just make some sort of, uh, you know, indent part where we can put the grill and the lights and that kind of stuff. So we'll just go into that group and I'm just gonna make like a, a rectangle. Triple click, make that a group. And we're just going to get that and bring it to the center. <coughs> S for scale. And bring that down to like there. To the same level as that. And then S for scale again. Probably try and match it up with that type of uh, distance. Double click in there. Click on it. And you can just... Um, if, you want, if you want, you can just go with an angle and make an angle like that. Uh, and push pull it to the end um, something like that but there is a quick um, plug in here round round corners I'll just click on that 12 sequences offset 250 that sounds about right I'll click on that does the same thing uh, just a quick way of doing it so that doesn't quite look uh, yeah it's not too bad so I'll click out of that and I just want to see how far that group goes back and that's probably 
Let's have a bit of a look there. Yeah, that's probably all right. Uh, we can always make it go deeper. So if I click on that and go right click explode, right click intersect faces with model, double click on that and erase it, and right click on that and erase. And it hasn't quite remembered our um, our bottom face there. So, oh, that's right. That's because it's on sort of like a little bit of an angle there. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Anyway, we'll sort that out. And it hasn't remembered that either. Or it's not been... All right, so let's see if we can uh, solve this problem. So that's matched up there. I'm just going to reverse these. And that bottom part, what I'm going to do is just erase that. Erase, erase. Erase. And. What I can do is just something like this. We'll just see what this looks like anyway. It's just um, muck around with it anyway and just get that and just push it out a little bit. And then from here, even if we just push it out a bit and then make a bit of an angle or something like this. Yeah, that'll do. Just something like that, just to neaten up that area. Um, obviously, this is just all about freestyling, really. It's just, yeah, however you want certain things to look. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to select these. I'm going to double click on the whole rear face there and then um, just select all these lines and then use that round, round corners again. I'll see if this works. So I'll just drop it down to, say, 70 or something like that. Maybe even less. Say 50. And not as many sequences, we'll just use seven. And just to round the edge into this face, I guess. Um, oh, it has kind of made it look a bit quirky down there, but oh uh, well, you get that. Um, yeah, it looks a bit weird. Maybe we'll just leave it without, we'll just undo it. Uh, Alright, so if you select on that, um, actually what we'll do, we'll just press L and we'll go up here like this. And we'll just press A for angle and we'll angle it round to something like that. And press L again and go across. So I'll just sort of uh, press P for push pull and I can pull it back a little bit. E for erase. And we've sort of got, yeah, the front light pushed in a little bit. And we'll, we'll sort of make like a grill and some lights and stuff here now. Righto, peeps. Let's can keep continuing on. Right, so we've got our flat bit there. So let's start making some, um, some bit of detail in here. So let's just start by adding some lights. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go something like this. Push it in there a little bit. Click on those, use the old round corner, and let's have a look here. I just want to sort of get it uh, looking, yeah, that'll do, something like that. Just erase those. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to do like a style where I'm going to have uh, a light uh, on the top and bottom of each other, like dual, dual lights, but top and bottom. So I just press C for circle, L for yeah, line there, and push pull it out. Now I usually just start with something like that, and I start to sort of refine it. I make that a group, and I make it a component, because we're going to actually make uh, two of these bad boys the same, one underneath each other. So I'll make those, select them both, press M for move, sort of get them into that position. Uh, shove them in there like that. Now this is just getting basic shapes, so they're obviously a little bit too big. So what I do is I just get one, press M, control, and move it out. And then I go in the group, select everything, press S for scale, and just scale it down a bit. Um, and you can see that it, you know, it affects, if it's a component, it'll affect every single component. 
So I'll just pre I'll just move that one down a little bit on its own. That one's probably the right sort of space. So I'll just get them fine tune, move them again, have a bit of a look around. And uh, all right, so I'll just leave them there. So I'll work on this one, like to get the um, the light happening how I want it to happen. So what I'll do, I'll just press M, move this down a bit. I'm gonna get that and use my joint push pull and just uh, expand that out a bit. Now nah, that looks shit. Uh, all right, so I'll just do that a tiny bit, not so much. Just as a little feature there. And it's still, I don't want them to touch, so I might just get that and move it up a tiny bit. And that one down a tiny bit. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Now here, what we can do, I'm just going to pull, pull that back in like that. Press L, go up to the top there, go across and down. And I'm just going to do like a bit of a um, an angle like this. So I've made this uh, face. I'm going to select that and press F for follow me to make like a round sort of uh, glass section. So I'm done double click, double click, right click and make it a group. And I'm just going to move that out the way for a minute. Because I'm going to actually make like the... Um, the reflector or something so what I'm going to do is press O for offset get uh, bring it in double click press M for move holding the alt key I'm going to left click and move it in a little bit like that and then I can select all those again with that cool plugin right click and soften so they're sort of all softened up and I'm just going to make a pretty quirky looking um, like lights in here really I'm going to just um, just do something like this. Actually, that's the wrong bit. I need that one. It's gonna offset that again. Uh, press P for push pull. S for scale. Scale that in a bit. E for erase. Get rid of that. And just here, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get rid of that main bit there. Press L. And something like this. and just move them out a touch and erase that bit in there so it sort of looks like a bit like an LED one I guess then I'll get that M and uh, get that group and move that back in I'll press B at this stage and I'm gonna go into the materials glass and mirrors just select the translucent gray one and click on that just so I can see um, you know the inside of the lights there um, so it's just looking something like that um, so yeah, they, they look alright. They're good enough at the moment. Um, what else can we do there? Alright, so we'll just leave that. I'm just going to erase that one now and just leave those two there. Notice how I leave this in there for a while because I might come back and put another feature in and I want to know where the center of those circles are because sometimes it can get a bit of a pain in the backside trying to find it again. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a, a grill thing happening here. So I'll uh, just press L, come out here, do a bit of an angle like this, press M and push this up. And what I'll do, I'm going to, um, I might just press L and hang on. press M and just bring this out. Let's see if it comes out. Uh, and I'll go A. Alright, what do I want to do here? Maybe something like that. Oh, stupid thing. Alrighty. Yeah, that's alright. Cool. I was just sort of fixing that so that that, um, you know. I don't know, just looks a bit of a feature thing or something. Um, alrighty, so let's uh, let's consider putting some uh, sort of grill spaces in this middle section. So what I'll do, I'll just select that and I'm just totally going off the top of my head here. So we'll just see if this works or not. What I'm doing is I'm just uh, pressing control 
and moving it into the center um, of each uh, section there. So it's sort of something like that. Um, now if that's one, two, three, four, nah, we'll do, we'll do another lot. So we'll go like um, something like this. Now what you can do, if, the, if you don't want to do it all individually, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, you can press control, left click, move it to there, and then you can go shift eight for star, and you can say star four, press enter, and it will move four times down there. So that's a pretty cool little uh, trick instead of you having to do a lot of stuff manually, because um, it can get a bit tedious, because that's what SketchUp's middle name should be. All right, so. I'm going to just see if this works as well, go M, uh, and I'll press control, left click, move it up to there, and I'll go times six or something, yeah, that'll do, so it's, uh, I'll get rid of all those hidden lines, now I'm going to press E for erase, and just get rid of all that there, and these, oh, I'll press control actually to just get rid of these bad boys, Okay, we'll get rid of that one. And what I'll do is just I'm going to select the uh, the faces in here, and not that one, and like that. So they're all selected. I'm going to use joint push pull. So you just sort of angle it like around here. Click on that, and I'm going to bring it in slightly. Let go, and away it goes. It's pushed all those faces in nicely. So now I'm just going to erase the bits out from the middle. Um, Actually, it might be easier to just sort of select these like this. Um, once they're all selected, I can then go right click erase. So that's got rid of some stuff there. And oh, there's a bit of an artifact sitting out the back there. I'll just get rid of that stupid thing. And these as well. Get rid of them. And sort of got a bit of a grill thing happening there. Um, we'll make a bit more of a feature on here, but um, yes, yeah, so that's sort of how you how I start to fill in a bit of detail Right, so let's just continue on So it's going to do is a little bit more of a feature here. So I'm just going to select this Push it in a bit What can we do here? Uh, all right what I'll do is I'll do a bit of pipe work, what I call pipe work, just to show you like an example of like some of the stuff I do. Uh, it can be utilized like everywhere. Um, so just uh, do this. Something like that. Let's get that and move that back a bit. Cool. So what I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm just going to select uh, these lines here and I'm going to move it out to the same distance as that one. Sometimes if you hover over that point and go back up to an axis, you can get it in that exact spot you want. Some, it, like I said, it takes a bit of mucking around, but you know, you can eventually get there. So I'm just going to get that bit move it up stick it on the end of that so that they're pretty much identical there um, it's going to get a little circle now you can see what I want to do I want to put the circle like um, so it's um, yeah on the red axis so if you use the arrow keys um, you can cycle through like what uh, axis you like so once it's on that red one there I just want it to be fairly small really but yeah something like that um, and I'm going to go and do what I always do and that is select all that and make it a group and I'm going to make that a component I'm going to edit the component double click F and do that I might just reverse all faces and I'm just going to get that and move it um, down to the bottom one. Now that didn't bloody work. All right, so let's just get that.
what I'm trying to do is get that bit there to go on there. Righto. And just get that one and go push up to the top here. And move that more over here. Something like that. So as you can see, not, I mean, you know, bit silly to put there like that, but I just wanted to give you a demo of like, you know, how to do some shaping sort of like pipe work sort of stuff. Um, yeah, not sure what else we can do here. I might just start going a bit crazy and, um, you know, making stuff like this, press P, push pull, press control. Now when you press control, you, you, um, make a new instance of that to go up so it can intersect here. I'm just going to make that uh, rounded and I'm going to round it to like say 40 so it's not much and then I'm going to select that face and those faces there and intersect faces with selection, double click, erase, get rid of all this stuff and get rid of this one here and reverse, so just make like a little bit of an indent thing happening there so it's a bit quirky. So this is all I do, I just pretty much just keep going and chip away at everything like um, here we might make a number plate um, part so I'll just always usually start with the old rectangle group move it to that spot there, move it in a bit Something like that. Scale it down and across. That looks a bit big. Oh, probably about. That's probably more like it, I guess. Grab those two, make them round. Um, make sure it is in far enough, I guess, and explode it. Intersect them with the model. Oh. What happened there? It didn't intersect those two faces, so I'll just go intersect face with selection. Oh, what's going on here? Sometimes you get some pretty damn quirky anomalies with with uh, SketchUp where stuff won't intersect. Um, so you can only sort of try again. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Not sure what happened there, but. Anyway, these are the things you live with. So just erase that stuff out. Um, I might just offset that. Bring that in with an M. Hold the Alt key. Bring it in like that. Push it in a bit and then get the old scale. So it's something like that. Erase those bits and then uh, orient faces so something like that and I can just do um, a couple little circles or something like that so yeah it's just all about you know uh, filling in the detail and, and doing in little uh, little bits of trickery and intersection and stuff so yeah